this joyful Easter tide away with sin and sorrow. In 1894, George Woodward, an Anglican priest and church musician, beautifully captured the spirit of the season of Easter in this hymn. This joyful Easter tide, after all, the festival of Easter, Jesus' resurrection from the dead, is more than one day event. The life we have been called to experience in Christ is an uplifting movement. According to St. Uh, Luke's Gospel, Jesus appeared for 40 days after his resurrection of the dead. Together with St. John's Gospel, we read stories of Jesus being seen over and over again, eating meals with his disciples, walking with them on the deserted roads, and teaching them about the meaning of his life and death. On one occasion, Jesus returns to the Sea of Galilee to see his disciples return to their formal vocations. As much as they recognized the miraculous nature of Jesus rising from the dead, they couldn't quite imagine what this would mean for their lives and their future. Perhaps we can't make that connection either. Martin Luther once said, it really doesn't matter if Jesus rose from the dead, if he isn't risen in you. That is what we are to discover in the joyous eventide, Easter tide. It was what Jesus' followers are experienced as they were being transformed from disciples into apostles, the ones who are sent. That is what we meditate on in our Easter music and worship. We are trying to capture the energy of the resurrection within each one of us. There are, of course, many other ways in which we can experience the miracle of Easter. Luther himself stated that our Lord has written the promises of resurrection not in books alone, but in the sharing of the peace. Principally, we experience the wonder and joy of Jesus' resurrection in the words of Scripture. For it is in Scriptures we are assured that the resurrection is not an empty, vain hope, but it is Christ's resurrection that holds the promise that casts away our sin and sorrow. This joyful Easter tide. This joyful Easter time, 
Oh 